The next thing I want to do is add this code snippet that I have uh, from the video into my tile over here. Now, uh, there's there's two HTML tags I'm going to need to use to do that. Uh, the first one is the code element. Now the code element actually denotes computer code in the page and uh, that's actually semantically correct because what we're doing is adding computer code. Uh, but let me just show you what the problem with just adding code is. So this is to what is an API video and when I add that in there I'll just start off my code tag um, and pop it in and I save it uh, the issue ends up being that that you see how this actually has some spacing and I you know I, I like to indent things uh, in my code so you know you get to see how they look like correct but code itself isn't going to keep that formatting you know those white spaces and returns and and all that good stuff uh, indentation it's not going to preserve that the only the only HTML5 tag that does do that is pre which is um, stands for pre-formatted text and anytime you look at someone else using a code snippet uh, you see that this is exactly what they use so let me show you a real-world example uh, one of my favorite oh, CSS tricks one of my favorite websites for all things front-end is good old CSS tricks and if we look at some of his code examples, uh, we could see that, uh, in fact, let's see, hopefully CSS Pi Timer. Um, okay, we'll see that here, when we investigate it, in fact, that's what we have. At the very, we have code, and he wraps all his code around in that tag, but pre is the entire container that's holding the uh, preformatted text. So, uh, well, let's get right to it. So what the way you want to do it is first wrap the code in the code element, and then the parent of code is going to be that pre tag. And once you do that, you should be getting some preformatted text. So here's my example, and okay, well it it, it is working now. Let's um, actually format it the way we want it. So if I start messing with this a little bit, there's an, an indent I just put in. Let me make sure we're seeing how it really is supposed to look. Stretch my screen out. Um, this document.write, since it's inside the get JSON function, that's what I want it to look like. And finally, let's see exactly what this is going to result in. Okay, pretty cool. Now, uh, I know that it's kind of going a bit beyond uh, its constraints. I'm not going to worry about that just now. I guess the, the point of this is if you want to put in a code snippet that is, uh, for one, denoted as code semantically, you use first the code, and that's where you wrap up the code in, the code element. Then in order to preserve all the white space and indents and carriage returns and all that other good stuff that makes it look exactly the way you want it, uh, you use the PRE, preformatted text element.